Whether you've just been through a breakup, you're inexperienced, or are going through a period of transition, you're asking yourself, am I ready to date? But how can you tell the difference between nerves and real signs that you're just not ready? Hi, I'm Lucy Goldman from Love Learnings TV. As a love and dating coach, I help women navigate the difficult waters of love. But what if you're afraid to just dip your toe in? I'm gonna share with you the top signs that you're not ready to date and the ones that means you should throw caution to the wind and do it. Stay tuned. One, you wish you could skip right to the relationship. Everyone feels this way once in a while. You'd like it if you could just skip the getting to know you small talk and jump right into a committed relationship. If this is how you feel, then you may not be ready to date right now. Most people go into dating with a goal, finding someone to start a relationship with or marry. But if you're too focused on that end goal, you may fail to build the relationship that you really want. Two, you're constantly comparing your dates to someone else. Whether it's an ex, a crush, or some hypothetical dream man, comparing potential dates to other men is a sign that you're looking for a reason to say no or break things off. It's only when we stop comparing and judging people that we're really able to get to know them and find that real connection. Until then, you won't be ready to date. Three, you're not excited about it. Dates may be nerve wracking, but they're also exciting. If the thought of meeting and dating new people puts you to sleep, then it may not be your time. Excitement is highest early on in a relationship because it's all brand new. If you're already bored, think of how you'll feel in a year from now. Four, you're just worried about missing out. When I talk to women in your situation, they often express the fear one might miss out on the love of their lives because they weren't in the right headspace for dating. I often tell them to wait. The beginning of relationships are so important. You could just as easily miss your chance by dating someone special before you're ready. Five, you're enjoying being alone. Dating doesn't have to come at the cost of your solitude, but relationships do tend to cut into your alone time. Independence is important, especially when you're young or in a period of transition. Six, you just want sex. You don't have to date to have sex. That's one of the only benefits of modern hookup culture. It's up to you whether or not you're willing to take the risks, but I definitely recommend it over rushing into a relationship you don't want simply to fulfill your need. Seven, you're feeling pressured. Family and friends want to see us happy, and for many that means trying to push us into dating whether or not we're ready for it. Especially as a woman, there's a lot of pressure from society to fall in love and settle down. If you're going on dates just to keep up appearances, then you're probably not ready. Eight, you're watching this video. Chances are, if you've watched to this point, it's because you've considered dating, but you just aren't sure. Listen to your gut on this one. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. There's no reason to push yourself into dating when you don't feel up to it. Nine, you don't know what you want. This is a very common reason people avoid dating. They're waiting to figure out what they want out of a relationship before they begin dating someone new. If this sounds like you, then I have good news. This actually is a reason you should be dating. So many people see dating as the beginning of a new relationship, but dating is actually the process of getting to know different people in order to learn more about yourself and what you want. Go into dating with this attitude and have an open mind and it can be truly transformative experience. Still watching? Maybe you've realized you do want to give dating another try and you're ready for that extra push. It's hard truth time. Dating is never going to be 100% fun and easy. Like anything worth doing, dating is a challenge that you have to face at some point. There's never going to be a perfect time to start dating, so if you're willing, just give it another shot. The beauty of dating is that it's not a commitment. You can always change your mind. Looking to relearn that dating game? I always recommend Amy North's devotion system to women like you. Go to coachnorth.com to learn more. I also want to reiterate that if you're not ready for dating, you're not ready for a relationship. Don't try to jump into something simply to stave off the loneliness. You'll only end up getting hurt. 
In any case, if you're still feeling like you're not ready, you need to know that that's just fine. Identifying this feeling and actively making the choice to take a break from dating is healthy and it can put you in a better headspace when you do decide to give it another try. So stop feeling guilty and focus your energy on really just getting to know yourself. This has been another video for Love Learnings TV. Thanks for watching.